Hey everybody, episode one of She-Hulk finally dropped and it was something. Although that's not too surprising, when you have a team from the showrunners to the actors that only cared about using an established Marvel character to preach their story and their message, like woke crap placed into a cheaply made CGI skin suit. However, I think that's what we've come to expect from modern day MCU. After all, there are only three character formulas. Male who is dumb pretty and has 99% likelihood of being nude. Female who is strong, confident, and has no character flaws or worthless side characters only exist to highlight the flaws in the male characters or prop up the female characters. And it's a real shame because the comic She-Hulk was the original Deadpool. She broke the fourth wall, addressed using sex appeal to sell comics, and the concerns of the readers, which is pretty important. She was genuinely a fun character that also showed tremendous respect, love, and support for her cousin Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. And as much as I hate the influx of comedy into every single aspect of the MCU, she-Hulk is almost tailor-made to be a light-hearted series with a relatable protagonist that has the added bonus of having a familial relationship to the first MCU superhero. So what happened? I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. Yeah, okay, so this scene probably best exemplifies the issue with Modern Marvel. I need to address every single current modern day talking point, no matter how absurd it becomes in the fantasy universe. Well, yes, it's rather upsetting for someone to catcall you in public. Do you think it compares to being beat by your father, your father beating your mother to death in front of you, being hunted for years by the U.S. government, attempting to spook yourself multiple times, losing the love of your life, being trapped in your mind for years as a prisoner. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, catcalling just seems like a negative 42 in comparison to even one of those things. Now I've heard multiple defenses for this that have ranged from, she's not saying she's better than Hulk, even though she literally says it to real world trauma is much worse than fictional plights and you realize arguing with Marvel stands is just a waste of your life. But in all seriousness, there was a way I think this scene could have been handled and could have ended with Banner and his cousin having a better understanding and respect for each other and She-Hulk showing how compassionate she is for her cousin who is probably one of the most complex, deep, and emotionally damaged characters in fiction. Instead we get this. What I was saying before, my theory. Oh, God. Um, Steve Rogers did not have a girlfriend before he went into the service. Says who? I promise I won't tell any of my viewers the answer to this question, but I love that you ask probably the biggest open question of the MCU, which is, is Steve Rogers in fact still a virgin? <laughs> and I love- I feel that there was a lot that She-Hulk could have done, but in the modern era of MCU, you're not tuning in to watch beloved characters whose stories you maybe grew up with. You're watching partisan ideologues preaching partisan politics and talking points while being wrapped up in a shiny, cool superhero skin. It's a shame that the universe that really did inspire a new wave of interest in these characters has been mutilated, emasculated, and stuffed with crap hardly anyone supports. Oh well, always manga and anime. For now. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into the video. If you can do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, turn on notifications, and uh, share the video. Big help. Thank you so much.